BSPN. My name's Anthony Chicklo. I'm gonna let y'all spend the day with me. So we're just gonna take it to class uh, in Alonzo High School. What school do you think I'm gonna go to? South Dakota. Well, Chick's a mama's boy, and plus, he couldn't be more than five miles away from me, so I think he's gonna stay home and go Giddy. to FSU. I think out of all the schools, he's gonna choose a school in Florida because he doesn't want to leave his mom. Based on your essay? I think you're gonna go to Florida. Alabama because they won last year. I think you're gonna go to Alabama. Chick's gonna keep it in tradition. He's going to the U. It's a, it's a tough decision, really. didn't let anybody down. We have so much fun speculating where a guy like Anthony Ciccolo will end up playing his college football. This is what we know about him playing his high school football in Tampa, Florida at Alonzo High School, ranked number 80 overall in the ESPN U150, the number 8 ranked defensive end in the nation. You see the programs there he was considering, but at the end of the day on Thursday, we know this. The mama's boy will play for the U. Anthony Ciccolo deciding to make that verbal commitment, putting on the hat, letting people know he's going to be a king, just like his dad and just like his grandfather. Miami picking up the number eight defensive end in the nation. How emotional is this day for you? You know, it's real emotional for me and my family, but, uh, you know, I'm happy to have this decision over with. And, uh, you know, I'm going to recruit my butt off for the University of Miami, and uh, I'm just happy to be a king. And we welcome in the newest Kane, Anthony Ciccolo, the number eight defensive end in the nation. Anthony, so you're really a mama's boy? Um, I mean, not really. Uh, you know, that's just some of my friends playing around. But, you know, uh, I was real happy about the decision. My mom's happy I'm staying close. And, uh, and it, just, it just happened to work out this way. It was the best place for me. Well, we mentioned that your dad and your late grandfather both played for the U. We were talking in break, and I said, oh, this was a no-brainer. And you responded to me, to some people, it appeared that way. Sounded in your voice like this wasn't one of those decisions that was made up early in the process. What did you have to think about when determining if Miami was the place for you? You know, just, just talking with the coaches and uh, – you know, you really get that feel when you visit um, schools. You know, I visited a lot of schools. I talked to a lot of coaches. And, you know, every time I visited Miami, I just got that feeling in my gut. I could see myself playing here and succeeding here. And, you know, that, that's what I plan on doing when I, when I get down there next year. What is it like to sit back and think that you are carrying on the legacy for your family and the great things they have done with Miami? My dad and my grandfather did a lot of great things at, at the University of Miami. Uh, you know, my, my grandpa was the third All-American ever come out of the school. My, my dad was, uh, you know, a two-time All-American at two different positions. And, uh, you know, it, it's really no pressure for me. I, I just want to uh, go in there and compete, and I, I'm going to try to contribute as a freshman and just try to help the team win and help the team out. And Anthony, you know this, we're billing it as Monster Saturday this coming weekend. Your future program, Miami, going to the road to Ohio State. Set the tone yeah. for us. What do you think about that matchup? What should we expect about the U? I think Miami's going to come in and try to run the ball against Ohio State. It's going to be real loud. And, uh, you know, Miami's offensive line is, is, is real good this year. And, you know, I think their defense is going to, you know, do real good in the game. And, you know, I, I, I know Miami's going to win. There we go. That is the prediction on record from Anthony Ciccolo, the number eight defensive end in the nation. It's all about the U Saturday and in the future for Anthony Ciccolo. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations on that verbal commitment. Thank you. It's all about the U. There you go right there. You just put up the U synonymous with great things. That legacy carrying on. Craig, what do you think this means for the future of this Miami class? Well, they're putting together right now a small but very strong class. You see not a lot of numbers, but a lot of those guys who rank very highly amongst their positions with one senior, two juniors, and a sophomore going into the 2D for the Ohio State game. I think Anthony Ciccolo is a nice need pickup. They've addressed defensive tackle, but not so much end. And we talked about it earlier in the show. I think he has the ability, if need be, to come in and contribute as a freshman. Let's go back in time now. Before Anthony Ciccolo was playing his high school ball in Tampa, when Miami was going up against Ohio State in one of the most thrilling national championship games in recent history. You had the pass interference call, extra life for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They end up winning this thing in double overtime, ending Miami's 34-game winning streak and giving Buckeyes the first national title in 32 years. Ja'Cory Harris, one of the guys on this year's Miami team that's saying, 
We're going up to Ohio State to take care of some unfinished business. What was perhaps left on the field there in the Fiesta Bowl back in the early 2000s. The bigger concern perhaps for Miami, where do they go from here after this season out there on the recruiting trail? What's your concern? What do they need to address, Tom? I still think they need to address the defensive side of the football, most notably in the defensive line. You know, East Shaq Williams is a guy out of Brooklyn, New York, Lincoln High School, that's a player that I think they've targeted as being one of those potential difference makers off the edge in the mold of what we've become accustomed to seeing from the University of Miami. Now, keep in mind, you can never have enough good defensive linemen. They're like quarterbacks, but they don't grow on trees. So when you find a great one, you've got to pursue and you've got to pursue hard because they can be the difference in your program. As we've seen with Chickalow already on board now, they're starting to slowly but surely build the class. Yeah, I th you know, I think that if you look at a defense, Tom, you could pretty much, with the exception of safety, say that Miami would be safe going after any position. And I think one of those positions, once again, I'm going to kind of piggyback you here a little bit, Tommy, cornerback. You can never, never have enough corners. I think Dallas Crawford out of South Fort Myers is a young man that the Hurricanes have a good shot at and would be very good position to land and really help him out. This is a young man who's an instinctive player in his secondary. He's physical. He does a nice job supporting the run. I think once he gets to college, have to work a little bit on his man-to-man -man skills because they allow him in high school to kind of rely on his athleticism, sit back a little bit and reap. This young man has all the tools to be a very good corner at the college level. He can really come in and bolster that Miami secondary. And Randy Shannon bolstering the recruiting help on the trail by getting that contract extension. Yep. He says that people forget about that, but that's also a big message to these players still on the board, including Nick O'Leary. Well, we've talked about how small the class is. This could be the one team that makes the biggest inroads between now and February just because of who's out there, who's available, and who they got a serious shot at getting. But also, I like about this class, it's, it's not so much quantity, it's quality. Yeah, no doubt. Very quality class. And no doubt that that class in 2008, Ja'Cory Harris, Brandon Harris, set the tone of all the good things still to come with the Miami Hurricanes.